before this video begins, I'd like to take this time to promote my official Discord server. Comment down if you want to. You don't have to, but you could. There are tons of things you can do there, just be sure to follow the rules and we should be golden. Link to the Discord server is in the description below. I'll post it up the top, otherwise it should be down at the bottom of the description. I look forward to seeing you guys there, and I hope you enjoy the rest of this video. Hello, Isabel. Hello, Marnie. Oh, <laughs> and I almost forgot to say hi. Hi, you sweet level going guys. Sweet Cookie 500 here, and welcome back to another episode of Modded Stardew Valley. The playlist that in which we pursue Shane via the Immersive Shane mod. The Immersive Shane mod and all the mods I use in this um, playthrough will be in the description below, but all I know is that we have Duggo. You see this dog here? I found it sitting outside the entrance to your farm. I think it's a stray, poor thing. It seems to lack this place. Hey, um, don't you think this farm could use a good dog? Yes, sorry! And let's be uncreative and name it Sugar. <laughs> well, Sugar, you better be a good pooch. Okay. Doggo! <laughs> and, uh, montage time! are finally done with that. Where's Sugar? Oh god, did I lose Sugar already? Sugar! Okay, fuck. Uh, well, we seem to have a missing dog. Um, uh, animal lovers, don't worry, this is just a game. Uh, fuck. Okay, um, let's, let's try to find Sugar. You know what, I think Sugar will be fine on her own. She's a pooch. She can't really leave the farm anyway, so. Hello, Vincent. Miss Penny says I have to read this book before I can go play. Well, that's a you problem. We don't have school here, but I'm doing my best to give Vincent and Jazz a proper education. Every child deserves a chance to be successful. Jazz is very good at math and reading. Vincent is good at... Well, he has an active imagination. Right in front of children. For shame. And Jazz wants to talk to me. Uh, happy birthday, Vincent. A birthday gift? That's very kind of you, I love it! Two hearts, baby! Woo! Second, that's my se Oh, hello, Abigail. Hey, sorry in advance if I say anything rude. I didn't get much sleep last night. What do you want? Nothing, just saying hi. For those of you who don't know about the Immersive Shane mod, basically it adds more to its character, like dialogue, interactions, events, and all that. And you can even talk to him at work now, and it doesn't say, Shane is hard at work, it's just like, it gives you dialogue to work with. So, good morning. What? I'm busy here. I love you, but fuck you. Time has been tough lately. I got laid off of my job as a bus driver. If I got that job back, I could drive you to Calico Desert. Okay. What'd you say? It's 12.30 p.m. already? My goodness. I still have tons of work to do. Did you watch the game last night? Or wait, do you even have a TV set? Yes, I do, Sam. Jesus. I may be a farmer, but I'm still technologically savvy. Fuck, dude. Oh. Hello? Hi there. Do you have everything you need for the farm? If not, we might be able to help you out. We carry a variety of useful items. I know that. 
Need daffodil for experiment. Well, I have an extra daffodil. So that's gonna be good. Now let's jump cut to the wither withered tower. Jump cut complete. You saw nothing. Hello, I've come to collect you. Ah, the item I requested. Your work was satisfactory. Here's your compensation. It takes years of study to understand the language of the elementals. To actually speak their language requires a lifetime of devoted effort. Now, if you'll excuse me. Fancy. We can give Shane another gift. This is fine. Uh, he likes pizzas. I'm, I'll see if I can drop down the saloon and give him a pizza. I wonder... Like, we've seen his dialogue... Like, his reaction to his favorite gifts. Between, heart, between hearts 1 and 2. So, will it actually... So I'm wondering, will it change? Or something? Because the aim of this video is to get him to four hearts. See if we can activate any other cutscene. You know? It really just depends on, like, the game. Like, the modern stuff. Because even I'm not sure entirely, like, what's gonna happen. If that makes sense. We might go fishing, actually. Uh, but yeah, like... What hard events will happen? Like, what dialogue will, will be said and stuff? So, it's all that stuff you gotta factor in, in my opinion, anyway. So, this should be interesting. Again, this is more the foul mouth version. Should be anyway, so, you know, content's not exactly appropriate. And I spoke with Emily. <laughs> Hey kid, you're too young to be moping around in a place like this. Hi. Hi there, Isabel. I'm glad to see you. You're always welcome here. Thank you. And I already spoke with Emily. I spilled a whole bucket of milk on the floor today. It was horrible. And such a waste of my poor Belinda's hard work. Why can't I speak with you anymore? Oh, well, we're here for Shane, so... There goes my life savings. You better be happy, Shane. Stop wasting your time on me. Never. I actually really like this. How'd you know? I have my reasons. You should really go check out the wiki. It's very, very useful when trying to decipher who actually likes what. So that way you won't have to be guessing the fuck out of it. Yeah. Before we go to bed and scrape oh, dandelion. Before we go to bed and scrape up whatever life money we can from whatever I place in the bin. The money bin anyway. Item box you know what I mean. Well, let's see if we can put some fish into the community center. Hello? Uh ocean fish. Yes, we can. Tuna, red snapper, and tilapia. Okay. I mean, we got about, like, years in. Oh? Linus? Oh, well, Linus is fucked. <laughs> Grr. Sounds like those raccoons are back again, filthy varmints. How am I all the way over there? Ah, you turned up at the right time, at the right moment, miss. Could you do an old man a favor? Could you go around the corner and scare off those raccoons for me? They've been causing a real mess. Thanks, make sure you give them a good scare so they never come back. Okay. Hello, Linus. It was me. I'm sorry. I find a lot of hot, fresh food in these cans. Stuff that will go to waste if I don't take it. Do you think there's something wrong with what I'm doing? Thanks, Isabel. I knew you were an open-minded person. I feel good about what I'm doing. 
I'm not harming anyone. But you might get sick, you know. You can go on home. I promise I won't rummage in George's can anymore. You could tell him you scared off the raccoons for good. Oh, well, good. Goodbye. And I disappear behind the bush. Oh my god, what the fuck was earlier? Wait. I know what you were doing, Linus. If you need food, just ask. I don't want anyone in Pelican Town to go hungry. Here, I've got a basket of zucchini fritters for you. Just make sure you dip them in my spicy marinara. Go on, take it. Don't be sad, that's free food! But now I'm all the way here. Teleportation is fine work for me, ain't it? I mean, I could have disappeared into the bush and reappeared in another bush. The power of the forest hasn't actually been specified, you know? It couldn't mean anything. And we can't give any more gifts until Sunday. Time for another farming montage! my wallet ain't variety you know <laughs> so I might take this as the uh, opportunity to kind of discuss oh there you are sugar there you go mission accomplished boys we found a oh right also before I forget okay what well, foraging I guess I can take this as the opportunity to um more or less discuss like what I plan to do for future uploads, because I do have quite a number of videos in the works. I am currently going under editorial processes of Delta Room Part 1, so... Oh, hello. Oh, it smells! Why is it locked? I want to explore the sewers! Gunther has the key. Professor Gunther? The man who runs the museum? Why do you think he has it? I saw a big rusty old key fall out of his pocket one time. A creepy sewer door like this just has to... Blech. A creepy sewer door like this has just got to be a match for a big rusty old key. Like, I'm the bait again. Oh, yeah, there's something in there. Oh, let's keep on foraging. Anyway, going back to what I was going to say until I got interrupted by two little kids is that, um, 
yeah, I have Deltarune on the, in the works, so you're gonna expect a full playthrough of Deltarune. I might actually go through Undertale Pacifist run, and then I'll properly do the Genocide run. So, like, it can all be completed. I know I'm supposed to most likely finish playing Undertale first, but I really so wanted to play Deltarune, and now that I have time to actually play it, I can play it. And I want to focus on other aspects, like new content on the channel, especially a lot more gaming stuff, so that way there's a lot more variety, a lot more content for you guys, and all that stuff. And uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's my little rant. Thank you for coming to my... Hello. You found the lost axe. Better return it to Robin. Robin's been looking everywhere for it. What if I just, you know, uh, tossed it into... What if I just, uh, you know... Kind of... Toss it into a... Toss it into a lake. N nah. Nah, nah, I'm joking. Unless... Hello, I have something for you. Hey, you found my axe! What a relief. I almost chucked my toe off while you with the other one I was using. Thank you. Hey, I heard that Louis showed you around the community center. It'd be great if you could fix that place up. It really used to be it used to be a really nice building. Thank you. I'm actually glad that people are making comments about like the community center because especially when I was playing it earlier, I didn't exactly read any comments like that for the community center. Like you just be like, oh, I went in the community center? Ah, oh, okay. No one actually made a comment about it. But now, like, Mayor Lewis made a comment about it, Robin made a comment about it, and I'm just like, hell yeah. I plan on spending a lot of time with my telescope this summer. I wish I could. I really wish I could. Hello? They are starting to warm up. I'm feeling pumped. Yeah, good luck with that. And our resident drunk head is in his spot. See if I can track him down walking from work. If Pam's there, then most likely Shane will head there. We'll speak of the devil. I just don't want to talk, alright? Well, you don't get a choice. Hello, Elliot. Where did you come from? Hello, Isabel. Are you well? Yes, I am. Thank you very much. See, Shane, that's what a true gentleman's like. I love you, by the way. Man, I'm such trash. Uh, it's going to be clear and sunny tomorrow. Perfect weather for the egg festival. Woo! Spirits are in good humor today. Uh, one of the other mods I downloaded as well for, um, Stardew Valley is, say, um, Immersive Villager mod where what what oh, did you die did you guys die i mean i i watered you please don't die i need income i'm broke anyway uh i downloaded a mod as well the immersive villagers mod which basically increases their dialogue um, capacities for festivals, so like, you know, you'll be getting people saying things the egg festival, flower dance, all that stuff. Again, uh, for those of you that haven't seen the first video, which I strongly recommend, title card, and which I strongly recommend, um, yeah, I kind of said that I'm not, implied that I'm really not new to this, because like, I know what I'm doing, in other words, so, yeah, if you guys don't think I know what I'm doing, very well assume I know what I'm doing. I'm gonna go see if there's anything for me to do. If there's nothing for me to do, I'll just jump cut it to when something's happening so you guys won't get bored of me just roaming around the entire place. So yeah, this should be fun. Let's do this. Let's actually see if people have interesting dialogue for the Egg Festival tomorrow. 
Hey, it's Farm Girl. Did you get a new pant? You're doing something, right? Fuck off, Alex, you little shit. Oh, I almost forgot. It's my day for doing push-ups. Every time I do push-ups, I try to do one more than last time. Pretty cool strategy, huh? Show off. George spends the whole day in front of that dumb television set. I wish he got outside more. Some fresh air would do him good. I mean, I could push him for you if you want me to. So we were a farmer, huh? At least it's honest work. Well, of course it is. It's hard work too, mind you. Oop, no thing there. Where's Lewis? Oh, he's in his garden. I can't leave this garbage. I hope things are going well in Berry Farm. I'd hate to see it all dried up. Me too. Me too. Hello, Jazz. I don't know you. I'm trying to marry your godfather, for fuck's sake. Oh, what is no one know my name? I wonder if anyone else will say it. Oh, hello. Oh, that was perfect timing. The food at Joja Mart might not be the healthiest for my family, but with such low prices, you'd be crazy to shop anywhere else. I shop at Pierre's. That's the good shit, you know? That's where the good kush is. Anyway, hi, Sam. Sam's trying to do a kickflip. Fuck you, Sam. <laughs> Haley. Fuck you, Haley. What? Do I can't be spoken to? Well, uh, yeah. I know my place. Might not like my place, but I know my place. And I hate it. Just hurry up! I need to buy your food! See you walking up there, you know? Hurry up! Hurry up! Thank you! Let's buy a seal. Let's be healthy. And uh, let's do some shit. I think there's a merchant? Like a trader? That arrives every Friday and Sunday, so let's see if she has the good quish. You want a salad, by the way? I don't think you lack salads. I will- I would talk to Shane to see if he has any dialogue, but he's still at work, so it's not gonna be, you know, that much of a benefit for me. Let's drop this off. This will be much more worth of my time. You know, because I don't have much to do anyway. You want a fish mail, Lewis? Nah, I'm not gonna do that to you. And you're trying to ignore me, so I won't talk to you. If you ignore me, I'll ignore you. Bitch. I'm definitely going to enter the egg hunt tomorrow. Are you? Finally someone says something about the egg festival. Let's see if anyone else does. Shane's immersive the immersive Shane mod should have saying Shane say something about it. Hey Bam, I'll uh, ask you about it actually. Each day is just the same as the last. If only I'd been born rich. The Egg Festival's tomorrow! Why aren't you commenting about it? And Shane is still at work. Well, let's see if he has anything new to say. I don't think he would. What, I'm bit- yeah, okay. No new dialogue. Hello, Maurice. Welcome to Jojama! How are you doing today? I don't believe we met. I'm Maurice, Joja Customer Satisfaction Representative. When you decide you want to become a JoJo member, I'll be delighted to help make your transition a joyous experience. Membership is now available. With a JoJo membership, you'll be able to make improvements in the community with the help of our dedicated personnel. For a fee, of course. Oh, and another thing, Mayor Lewis promised us that if anyone else joined up, he'd let us turn that whole community center into a JoJo warehouse. Isn't that wonderful? Fuck no. Well, I'm broke anyway, sir. Boop. Fuck you! I love you. I love you. I hate you. Okay. Hi, Shane. You finally got laid off work. Let me catch up to you. Yeah. What? Why are you asking me if I'm going to the egg festival tomorrow? Oh, yeah! Because I want to know if you're going. Of course I'm going. It's the only festival worth attending in this podunk town. Aside from the luau, I guess. You know what? Valid. You're entitled to your own opinion, Shane. 
But I will have to say that the flower dance is certainly my favorite. It looks like we have an event. Welcome to Pierre's. How can I help you? And it's a fuckboy. Ahem. Come and get it, folks. Coupons for 50% off your purchase at Joja Mart. 50%? Well, any takers? Come on, you guys, don't do that. But I can't match those prices. I'd be selling at a loss. It must be so difficult for you to lose your loyal customers and like that. But you can't blame them. Georgia Corporation is clearly the superior choice. Soon the hometown will realize that. Don't listen to him, Pierre. He's just a fuckboy. Sigh. Here, you know what? Bulk buying! I don't have enough to give him. Yeah, you know what? That's good enough. I'll sell you some more things later. Cause I just need a little bit more. I have that thing to do with uh, the slimes. I'll do that. Uh, let's go on that little adventure together, guys. It'll be fast, but you know. Say la vie, say la vie. Uh, in regards to what you guys missed out during the jump cut was. Not much, really. Today's Pam's birthday, so I was just gonna update you guys about what I did for that. Um, when tomorrow hits, because thanks to the Happy Birthday mod, my birthday is tomorrow. Yeah, the Happy Birthday mod makes you set your birthday in Stardew Valley. Just so long as it doesn't interfere with another NPC's birthday, then you should be fine. Um, so yeah, I was gonna film then, and then move directly on to Shane's birthday, which is the following day. And then the day after that, it's Sunday, so we should be getting his Four Heart event very soon. And thank fuck, because I've been playing for way too long. Let's get our rusty sword and, uh... Let's kill some slimes. Shouldn't be too hard. I know a good spot for them. And it's not the lower levels. Because fuck that. It's way too hard. Way too justifying, especially since my sword isn't exactly upgraded. No matter, it will be eventually. It's not even 2 p.m. yet, and I need to save money for a. Uh, for a uh, Pam's birthday gift. And. Well, actually. Um, during that farming montage, you may have realized that a lot of spots were blank. I had all my parsnips grow, so that was fun. It was good, actually, as well. Slime removal. I should have brought my pickaxe, actually. Fuck. Yeah, I have to go back and get the pickaxe. Unless we can try this again. Same exact thing. Uh, let's go back for the pickaxe. I mean, we could sell the salmon berry? Actually, yeah, let's try selling the salmon berry instead. We'll do the slime thing for Saint's birthday tomorrow. I hope we get the four heart event soon, because I, I don't want to be playing this for way too long. It is at five o'clock. Oh, thank god. Oh no, hold up. I could try something. I could be fucked if I tried though. Whatever, let's do this. 
Yeah, I fucked myself over. Thanks, Pierre. You cheap fuck. Please. For the love of God. Please, for the love of God, love flowers. Hey, Shane just walked in. We should not... I'm not eating a daffodil. Happy birthday, Oh, thank God. I've been looking forward to this beverage all afternoon. <laughs> Can't speak to Shane. Thank, thank God that worked. Okay, let's uh, sleep the day off and then we'll check on all my birthday tomorrow. It's your birthday today. Happy birthday, and it's raining. Hey, that's a good thing. No work for me. And it's Shane's birthday today! It's gonna rain all day tomorrow too, so, you know, that's not really anything different. Uh, we shall do our farm stuff, and then we will go say hi to Shane. Okay, so I managed to finish my farming stuff in time. We need to make a beeline for Shane if we want to get there before 9 a.m., which is when he begins. It doesn't work on weekends. I'm such a stupid ass. We are waiting another 10 minutes. We are not waiting another 10 minutes. Hello, and a happy birthday, Shane. How'd you know that today's my birthday? Well, thanks. I really like this. We just jumped up by three fucking hearts. Any new dialogue? I wish I could skip today. Well, I'm not skipping this heart event. We now have access to two heart events, but... So, let's just go out. And go in! Shane? Shane's currently passed out. He'll get to you later. Oh dear. And here I come. Hello. Isabel, can you do something? He's out cold. Okay, sure. Blah. Shane, what's the matter with you? All you do anymore is mope around in your room and drink beer. You wouldn't understand. What a moody teenager. I'm worried. What's your plan? Don't you ever think about the future? Plan? Hopefully I won't be around long enough to need a plan. Uh-oh. Jazz. I'm sorry. Wait. It's raining tomorrow. And the only way we can activate Shane's six heart event is via the rain. We'll let you guys later. Right now, my focus is on a very drunk Shane, so let's go the other way because that area is blocked. Oh, Shane! Are you moping beside the cliff again? Please be. I need to get through two hearts. Two heart events for the price of one for this video. It's a good price. 
and nothing. Is there a specific timeline for this, Shane? Does that have to be a specific season? By the way, I get to talk more to you, so... You're working today. I hardly know you. Why do you keep bugging me? BECAUSE YOU'RE AT SIX HEARTS! Marry me, Re Marry me, Rebecca. Hey, this is my favorite. Thanks, Isabel. You're welcome. Now that you're out of the house, let's do that heart event of yours. Mm hmm? Boop. Fuck. Okay. This is gonna be harder than I thought. Okay, so I know what I've been doing wrong. We have to enter between 9 a.m. and 8 p.m. to activate this heart event, so let's do that. I wonder if the immersive Shane mod will change any dialogue. I don't think it will, but it's worth a shot. Here we go. Hi, Shane. Isabel. Hi. That's me. I'm... I'm sorry. Hey! My life. It's a pathetic joke. Look at me. Why do we even try? I'm too small and stupid to... to take control of my life. I'm just a piece of soiled garbage flittering in the wind. I've been coming here often lately. Looking down. Here's a chance to finally take control of my life. These cliffs. But I'm too scared, too anxious, just like always. All I do is work, sleep, and drink to dull the feelings of self-hatred. Why should I even go on? Tell me. Tell me why I shouldn't roll off this cliff right now. Saying this now, I really thought there would be a lot more swearing in this, but I don't know. That might just be me. I might have downloaded the wrong one. I, I don't know. Either way, I don't mind. The decision is your own. Just know that I'm here for you. Thanks. I appreciate that. I really do. Yes, you called for me. I think you should take me to the hospital now. Oh, yep, come on. Let this farmer gal lift you up like a boss. I pumped his stomach and rehydrated his body. He's going to be okay. It's good that you brought him in, though. Too much alcohol is terrible for the body, but right now I'm most worried about his mental health. When he comes to, I'll have a chat with him about his treatment options. I know an excellent counselor in Zuzu City. Life can be painful sometimes, but there's always hope for a better future. You've got to believe in that. Agreed. Agreed. And now we're back here. Jump cut to me standing back at home. In three, two, one, and that's basically it for now. This took forever to film and I'm really tired right now so expect this to definitely go up tomorrow. It will definitely go up tomorrow. Trust me, it will. I promise. Um, I do plan to expand my stuff to like TF2 and Sims 4. I'll play more Deltarune. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit that like and subscribe button and if you're new to the channel, hit that notification bell to get uploads when I up to get uploads when I notify Hey, next time. Ha <laughs> ha! Hit that notification bell if you guys want to get notified of when I upload next time. And that's all for me now. Stay sweet! Um, Phyllis, I'd like for you to, eat, to introduce you to my hoe. Ah, no! No! Okay, there we go. Fix it. <laughs> We are almost there, and it's taken forever. Yeah. 
Chocha Cola, nice! I know exactly where to put this. Here on Sweet Cookie 500, we don't give a fuck about Joja Corp. Now let's jump cut to the wizards. Now, ooh, blah blah. You receive the clam. <laughs> Technically, it's a lost book. It'll get added to the library. I just kind of, you know, did my thing. Just kind of messed up, messed it up. So like. It only says like, oh, you got this instead of you got a lost, you found a lost book. You, you, you saw what happened anyway. Willa, Willa, you seem to be frozen in place. Willa, help! Don't just stand there and watch me.